I was in the, the last class of my school uh, and I, I have I had decided that I want to be an actor uh, so I was heard about the casting call that Panos uh, did um, he was looking for uh, Albanian teenagers that they speak uh, Greek so I said why not that's my that's my chance uh, so I went uh, in the first casting call uh, I met Panos um, we, we do uh, several uh, casting calls again and again around six and then I met uh, Nikos then we we do a um, casting call together to see the relationship and the bond that we make and Panos decided then after one year to take us uh, me and Nikos as a protagonist in the movie we were like family the three of us because we began uh, the three of us in the script um, yes uh, he was asking us about uh, Tell me, tell me what you imagine about that role. Um, he he didn't try to put uh, uh, foreign things to us. He began from what what we we have inside. So um, yes, he was very very relaxing to change lines or to. To, to to put our um, inner self to that script so he was very flexible and very open I think that this thing it makes him more aggressive more more curious about how his father was uh, when you lost one of your parents you have to be more mature so he's trying to to take the chances to not uh, take back you understand if he wants something now he will take it now that makes his personality how how he reacts with everything, how how he reacts with uh, Dido, how he invented Dido. It was the whole inner self that makes Dido alive. The whole of uh, sadness of the of uh, being alone. A uh, little bit scary because you don't know if. Uh, because it's life, it's alive, so you have to treat him like a person, you know, to treat him well, because, you know, it's... You have to, 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 to respect it, if, if you want to respect you. So uh, uh, one time I will tell you in the in a shooting that uh, we were on the woods with uh, Odysseus and he was carrying me and I had uh, the the rabbit in my hand. Uh, I felt that the animal was very very exhausted and uh, and it was bite me on the neck because it was like this and uh, of course. You have to protect it. I will tell you the truth. I've never heard about Pat Pravo, but uh, when I was uh, a child, when I was uh, younger, my parents was, were very influenced by, by Italian culture and Italian music, first of all. Uh, because Albania was in uh, a it was a communist uh, uh, country, only Italian radio uh, pass uh, the borders. You understand what I mean? Mm. So a lot of Albanians were uh, were influenced 
by Italian culture. So uh, I, I was raised uh, by by Italian music, Italian uh, uh, from years that Italy was in Eurovision. You understand? Very very popular songs. So uh, it. it uh, it reminds me something very, I don't know how to say it, something very, very close, very, very pr protective. You understand what I mean? Because that for me reminds me my family. So the Italian songs, the Italian Patti Bravo, first of all, it was like the, the, the Madonna. It was, it was the dream. How, how Danny wants her mother be, like Pat Bravo. Ciao. Ciao, amore. I don't have a problem with this, because for me I know what I, what I am, what I believe, so I believe if you have a nice person opposite you, you, you see the energy of that person. It doesn't care about the, you know, boys, girls or something. I appreciate the, the, the nice energy, the nice, you know, I believe in the human. And if it's the human opposite me, can communicate with me, I don't care. <laughs>